the Avs Oil Grand National Cross Country Series here on Racer TV. The Moose Racing Wild Boar in Palatka, Florida. And this is an AMA National Championship all presented by Maxis. What's on the line? Well, it'd be the claims the fastest ATV rider in the woods. And last year, that honor for the first time went to Walker Fowler. Uh, you know, it means the world as a as a pro racer. That's our goal, you know, from kids when we start racing, you know, is to, to get that championship. And it took a couple years. Um, you know, I think for for me, it, it felt longer than it probably seemed. I know a lot of guys at 23 would be pumped to win a championship. Um, and, I, and I definitely am. It just seems like it should have happened sooner, you know. But, uh, yeah, it, was, it, it means everything for us, and uh, we just got to come out here and try to do it again. And part of the reason it did take so long is because of this man on the left, Chris Boric, six-time GNCC champ. Fowler moved up to this XC1 class back in 2012, but it took until last year to finally unseat Boric. Boric has now switched back to his familiar Suzuki after a year with Yamaha that did not work out the way he wanted. Last year was just a struggle for me. Switch brands, uh, thought I'd give it a shot, thought I could win on it. Um, didn't work out so well, so um, went back to the basics, went back to what I know, and uh, been, lo been loving life, been having a, a great time riding again, having fun, and uh, just chomping at the bit, ready to go. And they'll be going at it on a very unique racetrack. For more, let's go to Megawatt, Matt Watson. That's right, Jason. The excitement builds with the beginning of a new season. But down here in Florida, not just because of the new teams, the new colors, the new graphics, because of the unique set of circumstances and challenges that this course provides. Not the trees, not the water we're walking through right now, but one unique situation down here we have is the sand. And it is everywhere, the entire course. Sand whoops, sand berms, sand jumps, sand everywhere. My prediction today, Jason, the guy who navigates this sandbox the best comes out on top here at the Wild Boar. Yeah, thanks, Are Megawatt. And what's interesting is it is a different soil than what we race on most of the year. Normal GNCC races were on rocks or clay or dirt. Today, it is the sandbox. Let's go racing. We're on board with Adam McGill, and the season is about to get underway. And McGill getting squeezed here by Fowler, who's going to put that number one and Fab and Pro Yamaha up front. So way to start the title defense. He's got McGill right behind him, trying to tuck to the inside. It's a drag race into turn two. Oh, nice line by McGill. I thought he was actually going to find an opening. Just clipping the apexes. These battles out in the field, are always fun to watch. Everybody's neat and clean, and the fans get a good look at it. But the races, they're going to be decided in the woods. Boric just comes through there on the left side, about fifth place. We're back on board with McGill on the charge and trying to keep Fowler honest. And now we're into the terrain. Like I said, it's going to decide this thing. Two tracks through the trees. And there'll be plenty of sand, as Nickawatt mentioned, plenty of mud as well. There's a little bit of mud down there. You can see in the tracks that these two are about to hit. The trail's already been laid out because we had youth and amateur racing this morning. We have a couple other amateur classes out there right now. Shout out to Bryce and Neil in third. Cole Richardson coming through in fourth. A couple of young kids. Then Boric comes through. Johnny Gallagher coming through here. So good little battles throughout the pack. And when you saw the helmet cam view, McGill's, we go back to the start, gets the jump. But I think when they hit uh, third gear, they're coming off the line. That's the difference. And then Fowler's got him sealed off in turn one. But it's two hours of racing. So even with this whole shot award, 250 bucks for grabbing it from Weisco, that's only the, the real difference as far as track position goes. McGill will have plenty of time to try to take it back from Fowler. But hey, congrats to Walker on the Weisco whole shot award and everyone else, they're the ones that are gonna be in trouble. These two, they're fine. You can see as uh, McGill just up ahead still has Fowler within his sights. Everyone else is gonna have to do some battling, maybe even burn through goggles a little more quickly uh, than they would if they had a better start. Not much dust down here though in the woods at least. Oh, bad line for McGill. 
Got tangled up in those trees. And that's going to let Bryson Neal slide into second. And Neal is on an all-new team, making their debut today in Coastal Racing. And they got help from Barry Hawk, multi-time ATV GNCC champ. That combo seems to be working. When it comes to guarding your engine, Amsoil offers the next level performance enthusiast demand. Amsoil provides 75% more engine protection against horsepower loss and wear than required by a leading industry standard, extending the life of pistons and cams. Give the vehicle you love the above and beyond protection it deserves. Amsoil, devoted to protection. Here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC, our goal has always been to get you the best price and provide quality service. Now, we're giving you one more reason to shop with Rocky Mountain. We call it Quick Cash. It's simple to get. Just place an order with a qualifying Quick Cash item and get cash to spend on your next order. Try it out today. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. The GNCC Series is brought to you by Amsoil. Protect your weekend. Rocky Mountain ATVMC, get ready. And by Max's Tires, keeps you riding to your maximum potential. Walker Fowler still out front of this Moose Racing Wild Boar GNCC. And hitting some of the mud. You'll see more fans in this section a little bit later. They're still moseying their way over from the start and also probably gathered at the finish where they'll get their first look at exactly how this is breaking down by the numbers. There's Bryson Neal still solid in second. As we mentioned, that's a brand new team, Coastal Racing. And Adam McGill back to third. He got passed by Neal and has not been able to hook on to him. Neal has actually broken away a little bit. Then here's the rest of the XC1 Pro Field coming through. Chris Borich, I believe he was right behind Jared McClure. He's on that red ATVRiders.com Honda, the number three. And we'll try to keep tabs on the leaders through these trees. Actually, no, this is the battle a little bit further behind him. It is still McClure and Borich trying to make up ground. And like I said, they're the ones that are going to have the trouble with the start. The second place start or third place start. If you're a McGill or Neal, plenty of time to try to go after Fowler. Although that's always easier said than done when you're dealing with the series champ, who's just rolling right now. But everyone else is going to have to burn a lot of energy to try to get in touch with this guy. Fowler is not burning much energy at all. I mean, it literally looks like this is a day at the beach for him with the sand and the pace not that aggressive at the moment. And he still has a pretty good lead here over Neil. Neil is the 2013 champion in XC2, which is the stepping stone to this XC1 Premier class. Here comes McGill back in third. CSD Tires, Lone Star Racing, DeRisi Racing, backing McGill's ride. Then it's uh, Cole Richardson next, then that battle between McClure and Borich. Richardson is the young teammate of Fowler, who's <laughs> giving a salute to the fans who are pointing out the good lines through the mud. They're both on those NFAB and Pro Yamahas. Back on board now with McGill. And you don't see Neil in front of him, so he has lost a little bit of ground. There is Neil headed to the mud. And you see the way the ATV riders do it. Uh, so easy to splash mud up over those fenders and just absolutely cover your gloves. And then it's really hard to hold on. And if you get soaked also, it's probably going to lead to uh, blisters later in the race. So usually these mud sections early in the event He'll play it a little more conservatively. Look at how hard McGill is working to not get himself covered. Be careful, though. You got Boric knocking on the door there on the right. And now McGill able to open it back up. This is what it looked like on the outside, not using the helmet cam. Oh, and that's interesting. Borich is the only one that chose to go right through the mud. You can see McClure and Richardson going around. Borich making up a little bit of time, and it actually paid off with the pass. Got around both. All right, so the old champ still got some of the moves. 
There's Fowler's dad, Danny, giving him a bottle of water, coming through the pits. No reason to stop. Keeps the Yamaha rolling, and he is rolling away from everyone else. Yeah, they got the watches out to try to figure out the lead. There's Randy Hawkins, the team manager, with the sunglasses there. And they got to be happy with the progress as Fowler has pulled away from Neil and everyone else. And here's McGill approaching that section. Oh, wrong turn. And that can happen on the first lap. The riders can walk the track and uh, watch the morning race, but they don't actually ride until they're out there on the track. No practice on four wheels for GNCC. That's kind of old school off-road. You got to figure out the lines as you compete. Let's see how McGill plays this now. I mean, he has Boric all over him, cannot be as conservative through the mud as he was through the previous section. This is going to be tough. And don't count out Richardson or McClure. A good four-rider battle, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And McClure reaching up, giving himself an opportunity to just get something to drink from his uh, backpack drink system. Just love seeing the different ways these riders have to play in the two-hour event. And a couple other things to keep in mind here. We're going to race in Georgia in just a week's time. Every other GNCC has at least a two-week break in between. So the riders know the energy they burn today probably not going to be fully recovered. Maxis Tires. The Andersons discovered life is easier with an Outlaw RV. The Outlaw is a complete home on wheels with a multifunctional garage. Getting on the road has never been quicker. The Outlaw is made to fit the lifestyle of today's active families. So stop roughing it and start enjoying your weekends. Find the Thor Motor Coach Outlaw that fits your needs at GarageRVs.com today. When it comes to protecting your engine, Amsoil offers the next level performance truck owners demand. Amsoil provides 75% more engine protection against horsepower loss and wear than required by a leading industry standard, extending the life of pistons and cams. Give the vehicle you love the above and beyond fortification it deserves. Amsoil, devoted to protection. Walker Fowler continues to lead its Racer TV's coverage of the Amsoil Grand National Cross Country Series. The 25-year-old out of Rogers, Ohio, picking up exactly where he left off, a dominant performance last year to win his first GNCC title in the premier XC1 division. And here comes the charge. Cole Richardson certainly showing it up to his game. 2014, 2015, his first two years in this class, definitely showed some speed. He got the start, he rode these guys for a while, but uh, what usually seems to be the last puzzle piece for these young riders, and Fowler dealt with it too, is how to handle the last lap, or maybe the last lap and a half, and that's always where Chris Boric here made his money. He'd stay with these riders, he battled them all day long, the last lap, he would have spots picked out. He would save a little something. And he usually had something in reserve that no one else had an answer for. It's really hard to figure out exactly when to go and when to wait. Clearly, Fowler has now figured that out. Well, I'd say today the strategy is don't wait at all. He has been on the gas right from the start. Little ride on the bicycle there in that uh, right-hand turn. But man, this is an impressive performance. And it's so key as the champ. A lot of times you hear about the number one plate and how heavy it is because it adds some pressure being the hunted instead of the hunter. But he wants to make sure that all the work that everyone else put in during the off season wants to shut down any confidence that they might have got out of that. I'd say the only one who wouldn't be bothered by this is your second place rider, Neil, because this is still a big step up for him. Now he has come through. McGill's got his hands full. 
This is Chris Borich all over him, and these guys are not strangers to each other. They've had a lot of classic duels through the years, although a lot of those were when they were in first and second. Today it's third and fourth. Not quite the spark today that you normally see Adam McGill, who led almost all of this race a year ago, passed right at the end, and I mean literally right at the end by Fowler. It was a heartbreaker. He led 99% of the day one year ago today, not able to keep up with the pace that Fowler's setting. He and no one else. I mean, look at him go. Takes the pit board. Is it pit stop time? Yes, it is. So it's going to be gas. And going to grab a fresh set of goggles as well. Everything else looks pretty well locked in. And when you can get in and out of the pits before second place has even come through, they don't even get a chance to see you. It makes it that much easier. That was perfect timing for Fowler. So we'll see how efficiently this Coastal Racing team works. Again, it's their first time effort. A new team that will be racing both bikes and ATVs this year. And the McGill and Borich pits are on red alert waiting for their guys. Here is McGill, and Boric should be right behind, and yes, he is. This will be a little race in the pits to see who can be quickest. Boric could maybe make that pass that he's tried to make for about a lap out on the track right here. Not going to happen. Excellent stop by McGill's squad, and Boric is going to be in hot pursuit again. But they have broken away a bit from Richardson and McClure. Fowler's got people all over these woods. And he salutes them again for pointing out the good lines. And it never hurts to be associated with Randy Hawkins. Randy, longtime operator of Yamaha's factory bike team. But then a few years ago, they integrated that in with Fowler's program on ATVs. As you see, Neil battling his way through the mud. But Randy Hawkins has been at this game a long time, and he understands all the little things uh, that work, including getting as many bodies out there in the woods as possible to point out lines, shout encouragement to your rider, and make sure everything's uh, working as best as possible. And because they have an ATV and a bike effort together, they've got a pretty good staff, a pretty big staff, and that helps also. And it, what's also funny, it's full circle. Fowler came up through the ranks. Looks like uh, Neil's actually closed up a little bit. Fowler came through the ranks racing bikes and ATVs, and he actually had a ride with Hawkins as a bike rider about six years ago. And then he decided to go full time to uh, quads. He had been racing both for a while, so good to see him all the way back now with Randy Hawkins in that factory Yamaha NFAB Ampro squad. You see McGill and Bort still fighting for third. Man, track's a lot rougher than it was at the beginning of the race, isn't it? Track getting a little rougher, and Fowler's lead a little bit smaller. Bryson Neal, what a performance by him. Trying to keep the champ honest. And these sandy sections are good because the track keeps looping back on itself, so if you're in second, this is where you get a look at the leader. Neal wasn't quite close enough in the pits, but he might see them here and there, like right there. Take a look over to the right, and you can see Fowler and realize he's not that far ahead. And if you're Neil, that might help just to maintain second. Think about the rider in front of you and don't worry about the pressure from McGill and Morris behind. CST Tires. As riders and racers, we understand the need to get quality parts, apparel, and accessories fast. We have the horsepower of multiple warehouses to make sure your gear, OEM parts, or accessories make it to your door quickly. 
Check out our easy to use website and experience customer service that takes the whole shot. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. I've been with Liat for a lot of years and I know the dedication they have for, for safety. When they told me they were coming out with a helmet, I signed right up. The GNCC Series is brought to you by Emsoil. Protect your weekend. Rocky Mountain ATVMC, get ready. And by Max's Tires, keeps you riding to your maximum potential. Walker Fowler keeps on motoring and motoring here at Florida, Black of Florida. And yeah, now he's got a little bit of lap traffic to deal with. So the last time we saw him, we noted how much rougher the track is than before. You can see that clearly here. And now we're seeing him in the lap traffic for the first time. So a couple of potential pitfalls for your race leader. And Bryce and Neal hoping to take advantage of that. A credit also to MSR and Maxis who are helping out that coastal racing team. Neil trying to keep the hammer down and not let Fowler get too far away, at least stay close enough to take advantage of a crash or a mistake. Oh, Borch has finally gotten into third. That was a long time coming. The machine actually didn't light immediately on the line with the dead engine start, so he had to do some work in those first few corners just to even get to mid-pack. And then we saw how much effort he had to put in to get around uh, a couple of riders in front of him, including McClure, Cole Richardson, and now finally McGill. So he's in third, but pretty far back. About to put a lot of work to catch Fowler rolling away on the NFAB Ampro Yamaha. He just passed me. And you see some radio communication there between our crew and some communication between Fowler and his dad. He's waving off the water bottle. That's how good he feels right now. Here comes Boric. I didn't see Neil. So I don't believe Boric, though, is in to second. I think we just missed the second place rider coming through. And the positions are in, they prove pivotal now because the checkered flag is within sight for them all, including Walker Fowler, who's going to start his title defense in the best way possible, takes the win here at the Moose Racing Wild Boar GNCC. And I also think probably saved a little bit of energy help himself out at round two a few days from now in the woods of Georgia. He's gonna shut it down. He's got Mark Notman, his mechanic and a former racer at his side as well. Here comes Neil. Yes, indeed, he is still second. And this is the most improved rider award. He was good last year, but he appears to be at another level this year. Great debut for the Coastal Racing Team. And Barry Hawk, your seven-time GNCC ATV champ running that program. They have got to be pleased. Good work, buddy. Hey, look at Fowler coming over oh, hey, to uh, share work, some congratulations well, with Neil and the mechanics as well. And Boric going to come home third. So a few flashes of the old Chris Boric. Certainly looked like he was going for it and looked aggressive, but he doesn't race to finish third. You know he's going to want to go after the victory a little better start at some races in the future. And a long day in the saddle, but it's going to turn out well for Jared McClure. Going to put the ATVRiders.com Honda into fourth. Solid points day for him. And here's McGill. Wow, you don't normally see McGill start up front and finish off the podium. What? Yeah, showing the sponsors. All right, CST Tires, good job, Adam. But uh, I'm sure he would have wished to have the opportunity to thank them on the podium as part of the top three. Better luck next time for him. That has to be the first ever rolling mid-race sponsor plug. There's your results. Merritt, Gallagher, Richardson, Wolf, and Shadron right now in your top ten. Let's talk to the winner. Absolutely. Uh, wire to wire, whole shot to a win. Uh, led every lap today, and I think that uh, that's a statement enough. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Here he is battling wheel to wheel with McGill off the line. Amsoil race recap. And this was as close as it would be. McGill for the first three or four corners. 
trying to square him up, use insides and outsides once they got into the woods and into the swamps. Fowler's only company came from his friends for helping point out the good lines. Great job for Bryce and Neal. He would get around McGill, take over second. And the kid never faded, never faltered. Solid performance for him to start the year. Just one spot off of the champ, Fowler, who takes a dominant victory. Yeah, and big congrats for Neil. Shout out to all the GNCC competitors who raced on this rough racetrack today. We'll see you at the next one. Congratulations to your race winner, Walker Bell.